Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Quasar's multi-character script. So obviously, the first thing you want to do is head to their Tempex store, which I'll leave a link down in the description. You're going to want to go ahead and log into your 5M account. Go ahead and log in, hit continue. And as soon as you log in and it redirects you back to their website, you're going to go to products, head to the multi-character tab. And then from here, you're going to want to just purchase this script. I'll leave a link down in the description to the package. Then as soon as you buy it, you're going to want to head to your Keymaster account and search for Quasar under the Granite Assets. After you hit, you get here, you will see your multi-character script and you're going to want to hit, hit the download button. So as soon as it's done downloading, you're going to want to go ahead and open the, the .zip file and you're going to want to head to your server file open your resources and since i'm going i'm gonna have multiple quasar um scripts i'm gonna just go ahead and create a new folder um and call it quasar now any resource we put inside of here will automatically start as this is a category as you can see with the brackets so we're just gonna go ahead and start that in our server config so just make sure that here that it has the brackets capitalization is correct and spelling is correct but as soon as you do that you can go ahead and close your server config and open up your files and you're going to want to go ahead and open the folder we just created and i opened the wrong one sorry guys multi-character there you go so you're just going to want to go ahead and drag multi-character inside of your server files and we can go ahead open this and pretty much it installs everything for you so whether you're on esx or qb it, it's all going to automatically set for you same thing for the version so you won't really have to do anything for character creator i would just leave this on false because you want new players to be able to create characters just leave that on false same thing with all this if you don't want music you can turn it off for identity i would just keep it on if you're using esx identity which pretty much you, you will be more than likely and you can add new spawn locations here as uh, this one has multiple um for weather you can obviously they have some here um the weather type and then for characters here i wouldn't really change any of this as this is set to the script and all of it is, is honestly set good i wouldn't i wouldn't really change any of this stuff so you can go ahead and turn debugging to false and you can go ahead and save it and then you can close that now we're gonna want to head to our esx add-ons and remove the multi-character or i believe it's in core yeah so you're just going to want to remove multi-character you can either delete it or drag it into your desktop after you do that you're going to want to open es extended and go to config you're going to scroll down to config.multi-character here you're just going to add two dashes and then type in true and you go ahead and save that then you can close that and you just want to start your server and i'll be right back with you guys as soon as i'm loaded into my server so if you guys followed everything exactly how i did it you will see this error it's a simple fix we're just going to go ahead and open our files and go to config and if you hit Control f you'll get a little search bar and just type in tebex and as you can see for these it's on true so we can just copy false and paste it throughout these. So anywhere we can just copy this whole line and search for where Tebex is true. And if you have no results, then you should be good. You can just go ahead and close that. And we're going to go ahead and open our TX panel, log in, and then just restart your server and the error should go away. And I'll be right back to show you guys. Okay, as you guys can see, my server started now. 
and I do not get that error anymore. So now all you're gonna wanna do is load in the 5M and I'll be right back as soon as I'm in my server. Okay, as you can see, we get the case our roleplay loading characters. Um, this you can change and I will show you guys exactly how to change all this. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's all working. And as soon as you get in, you can have three different characters. I have a character already, but you can have three different characters. So let's go ahead and show you guys the character creation. New character. And to choose, you just click on it. Let's say you accidentally click on a female, you can just go back, hit confirm, and then choose on male or vice versa. So we're going to choose male. And here, we can change how the mix, I guess, of each partner. So for example, first partner, we could choose any of these. I'll just go with this one. And then secondary partner, you usually want to choose a female. But you can just choose whatever you like. So I'll just go with this. And you can change the aging, your skin tone. Skin damage, complexion, everything. You can change the shape of your eyes, how squinted they are, eyebrow height, eye color, your nose, hair. As you can see, it matches the pictures. You can change the color of your hair and all the good stuff. Here, they have a whole bunch of beards, a whole bunch of body hair, eyebrows. Um, makeup for females or males and then they have pre-made outfits so we'll just put on a suit so finish here and we'll just do dev and then a last name of smith and here we just pick the date so it will be 1999 february 14th your height you can do whatever you want your height but as you can see, that is how you install the multi-character script. Um, I will show you guys how to change where it says Quasar Roleplay. The best thing to do on how to find things like that is I like opening everything in Visual Studio Code. So we'll just go here, open folder, go to QS multi-character. That way we can search through all the files and you can just search for what it said so it said role play so we'll search for role play and as you can see right here inside the config it says server name and you can just change this so i'll just do cyber test server test server and as you can see i did receive a phone when i first loaded in you can add starter items here and change the spawn location so soon what you have to do go ahead save this here you can also change it right here from quasar roleplay inside of uh the index.html same thing i'm gonna just do cyber test server and now we can go ahead and restart our server so we can show you guys the changes As you can see, it now says cyber test server instead of Quasar Roleplay. And this logo you can also change. So if we go to here, image and logo. So you're just gonna wanna put a server logo or whatever you want and just make sure you name it logo.png and it will change. Um, I don't have a logo right now so i can't show you guys that but all you have to do is just put in your logo here 
and just make sure it's named a logo.png and it'll work perfectly fine. But as you guys can see, that is how you install it. They also have their spawn selector. As I, um, I showed you guys in the config, you can add different locations. So we'll just spawn at the beach. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I made it easy for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just please leave a comment down below. Or if you guys have any script you guys want to learn how to install, just also comment it down below and I'll try my best to help you out. But that will wrap up the video. I hope I helped you guys and I hope you guys have a great day.